Uh, service, we've announced your uh, signing contract extension. How's it feel? Yeah, obviously delighted. We've been speaking for a number of weeks now about everything, and it's um it's not actually been about um me wanting to stay or uh, extending the contract. It's about the plan for the club moving forward and what I can do. And um yeah, it's taken a little bit of time, but I think we're all happy with the outcome of it. And um, you know, there's lots of hard work ahead. Yeah, and obviously you've had a two four years here now. What is that plan going forward that you mentioned? Yeah, just obviously I've had to do a lot in that two years and um, learn an awful lot. Um, I was really grateful for the opportunity, obviously, to take over from Andy Hesitalo, and I know the club was really patient with their recruitment and probably gave me the chance to do it. Um, and then we had that immediate success with being so close to getting promoted, and then I probably had last year a bit of a a learning year for me. Um, which probably not a lot of managers get to have, you know, realise some of the stuff that I did, what I can do better at, I'm always trying to do better. I'm doing you no know, further in my education where my badges and feel like I'm learning lots on the training pitch and being around the boys. So it's um it's about trying to, you know, establish the club where we are. Things are a little bit different now at the football club and um working with him and remit and what we're trying to do and um pushing these younger boys to try and do better. And I feel like we have done this that this year. We're not too far away from where we want to be and we're pushing hard to try and hopefully get in them playoff places again. Yeah, and we have a little bit of a change this season, as you mentioned. Do you perhaps feel, feel like your style is now coming to be shown? Uh, look, it's certainly more my um, team now. You know, I inherited um, the group of players in you know when I first took over. You know, that was very much Richard Hill's team um, and then Andy Hesitala's team. Of course, I was involved in a lot of that recruitment process and, and you know, and... You know, I'll say it to this day, I've said it lots of times, but if it wasn't for that group of boys, you know, I'll always be grateful for them for putting the work in for me to get me the job, you know, behind the scenes, how supportive there was me, how good they was on the training pitch when it was that transition from turning assistant manager into manager. Um, and then, yeah, just the course of how things go, you know, we lost some good players of the football club the last two years, you know, some really, really good players. Um, and then sort of going into this year, it was about me bringing in boys that I thought could do better and... You know, probably now, like you're saying, it's probably a bit more of, you know, my mould, the squad. Um, but we know we've got lots of hard work ahead this season and in the coming seasons as well to make sure that's even better. And um, we've got down a certain recruitment process and then um, giving some younger boys chances, which is great to see. Um, and I think, I think hopefully, when the fans are back in, they'll be really appreciative of the group we've got because I think they're working really hard for the club. Good or bad results have not been how we wanted them to be the last couple of weeks. But um, I, hope, I hope they see boys really trying and... Um, you know, playing for the club, that's all that matters to me. Yeah, and as we enter the business end of this season, how do you think it's gone so far overall and just looking on to the end of the season? Look, we're, f we're three points off a of fifth, which is, you know, do I think that we probably could be a bit closer to that or even better now? I, I certainly do. Um, look back on a few of the games where I'm gutted that we didn't, didn't pick up more points in the games than I think we deserved. But um, the fact we've got eight games to go in the season now and we're fighting to get into them playoff positions. Um, you know, when I... First took over as manager. My remit was to finish in the top ten to get, um, you know, to extend my contract or to be given more of a longer chance to be the manager of this football club. And um, this is a complete different squad now. The fact that we're fighting in that top ten or you know three points off of being fifth um, is a credit to the players. It's um, me and Jason. I have to say, Jason Roscoe and Cookie and got Nicky that comes in to help now. And Brooks, he's helping me doing the analysis. Um, it's a real team effort, you know, that that um, then people around me trying to help every day. And like I said, it comes down to the players. We've got a good group of lads here that work hard every day. And, you know, I get my moments where I'm frustrated with them when we don't pick up the points we're in or some of the performances don't go our, our way. But um, I certainly know they're, they're fighting for the club and they're giving us a chance to hopefully be in and around them playoff positions coming into the, the season. We know it's going to be really tough with the teams we're competing against, but um, the fact that we're up there fighting and giving it a real good go, um, you know, just hope we've got a positive into the season. And do you look too far ahead into next season or is it now eight games to go, full focus on, on those? Look, I've got always have to, even in the last year, um, and people might think it's crazy, but the year that we was reaching them playoffs, I was so aware of you know, how important it was for the club to get promoted at that time just to a group of players I had knowing there would be a changeover of players at the end of the season if we didn't do it because of, um, you know, the changing of how it was going to be running the football club in terms of how well them boys had done. I think I had two or three made team of the year and there was all sorts of speculation around how many of the boys were going to go into the league and stuff like that. So, again, at the end of this season, it's, yeah, concentrating on the next eight games, trying to do as well as we can, but also realising, you know, there's going to be some hard work ahead in the summer. Um really not sure which way it's going to go at the moment. We've got some real good players that people are probably 
you know, half having a look at. Um, so we just got to concentrate on this season, but always in the back of your mind as a manager, you've got to be planning for, for the next season and um, um, but not taking the focus away from this season, concentrate on these next eight games, um, concentrate on Sutton, first of all, on Saturday, um, in front of B, on BT, in front of the cameras. Um, but yeah, with one little eye on, on the future and um, you know, shaping as well what we're going to be like next season. And of course, you never want to say too much, but is it exciting times ahead, do you think? I hope so. Look, it's... Um, I think everyone that knows this club and is very gives a honest, balanced view of things. There's, there's been significant changes in this football club in the last three years, and um, you know Stuart Donald, um, you know, done amazing things for this football club and left us an infrastructure to do stuff a certain way. But you know, Kenny, Tom, Mick, all the guys taking over now, we're a different football club now. You know, we're uh, you know it's pretty much pretty much sustainable. It's been really tough this last year with COVID, but it's pretty pretty much sustainable. Um, it was amazing having a known where we could do whatever we wanted and get all sorts of players in this and the other, but we've had to go down a different route now. And we, and we realise, you know, with it comes expectation of how I, I'd done a couple of years ago and the club's done and we were so close to getting promoted Stuart Donald's first year up in the conference. I think um, I think some some of the fans, only some of them think, oh, we should be up there all the time. And that's that's what we're trying to do. Um, but we're doing it with a slightly different model now. Um, sustainable younger boys that we're hoping do really well for us and establish themselves in our team for years to come. Or people like a Rob Atkinson that we sign, help improve, say help improve, he was brilliant anyway, but you know, help him, give him a platform to play. And then they go on to bigger and better things like he's done. And we, we've probably got two or three more of the lads at the moment that are similar to that, you know, that is, we're trying to get, prom- they're trying to get promoted with us. But if they don't, they'll probably have a chance of going into the league themselves. So um, yeah, just... It's exciting in terms of for me, just you know, trying to put my own stamp on things, um, you know, pushing the way that we're doing it with full, uh, full support from the club in terms of the recruitment. They, they they wanted me to go down a more younger, locally based team because um, we realised how um, how much the fans took to people like Rob Atkinson last year, took to Sam Smart last year. So um, in bringing in a Joe Tomlinson, a Ben House, Dan Smith, Ryan Hill, God, the list goes on. Of the younger boys, we're given a chance. Um, I think that's that's our way going forward, but also not losing sight of the fact of we've been without Tyrone Bowen for a month month now. So it's brilliant with all these youngsters, but realizing that these older boys that we've got, um, you know, the whole group of the older boys, how well they look after the younger ones, there's always got to be a fine balance in between things. You know, these younger boys need the people around them to keep pushing them each day. Um, so that's what we're going to work on moving forward. You know, keeping a core group together of all the people that I know and trust, and bring the younger boys on. Um, and then trying to be selective in our recruitment like we was this summer and um, I think this summer we can be quite proud of our recruitment and the boys and how well they've come in um, I know we played Notts County at the weekend but just to think that Joe McDonnell and Piers Bird weren't first, first choices and Notts County weren't really going to be given a chance to play this year um, and look how well they've done for us you know Ben House playing in under 23s for Reading um, Joe Tomlinson playing for Hunger for teams like that so you know we've got a try our hardest to keep finding these little gems that we've done well to to find. Um, but yeah, keep pushing and trying to do better all the time. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be satisfied if we won the league, I'd want to do well in League 2. I'm not satisfied being 10th, I want to be in them player positions. So um, it's always that mentality, trying to do better each um, each game, each season. Like I'm lucky to say, you know, going into my second, third season as manager, um, to just keep pushing and trying to do better, that's the plan. And lastly, obviously, there'll be no fans here at the weekend, as it hasn't been all season, but do you have a message for them? And you know, thanks for their support. I'm sure they're looking forward to seeing you and the team again. Yeah, it's really difficult because um, you only get a small um, sample size of you know people's feelings on Twitter and Instagram and all like that. I'm not most active on things like that, but um, I hope that I hope that they're, they're proud of the efforts of the boys this year. I know they've probably, probably been frustrated at certain patches where we've not picked up the results that we've wanted, and um, I'll be the same as them. But I think they... You know, over the course of the season and seeing the type of lads we brought in in the summer and, you know, we had a bit of a tough year last year to see the boys fighting for them top-end places and um, competing with some real big clubs, you know, going sit on Saturday, but going to Notts County and winning is amazing for this club. It goes right out there with winning away at Bristol Rovers or Tramier like we've done in the past. Um, so, um, yeah, look, we've missed them. We hope they're back soon and I'm sure they will be, which is going to be amazing. It, it's not, it's going to be, we've got a little tiny taste of it when they was back for the Maidenhead game which I unfortunately didn't go the way we wanted it to but um, we know they're supporting from afar I know they're really supportive of um, me and the players which is amazing um, but yeah it's, um, it's 
been good to be back playing this year because it was such an abrupt end to last season, but it's not the same without fans. You know, I think um, from the Premier League down to our level, I think everyone would admit that it's amazing we're back playing, but it's not the same without fans. It's not the same as winning in Notts County. You can go over and celebrate in front of your fans. It's not the same as winning a home game and the boys getting to walk around the pitch and getting clapped off and rightly so when they perform. So um, we're missing them. I hope they're back soon. I hope they're happy with the news that's coming out of the club, obviously with myself and some of the stuff that's going to go on with the players in the coming weeks and that has happened in the past. Um, and we're just going to try and have a positive end to the season for them. Um, good or bad, whatever happens in these last eight games, it, they got to know that we're trying to give it our best and we're working hard and um, hopefully that leads to a successful outcome. But if it is, an angle be from the lack of trying.